Hello everyone, in this video, we are going to discuss the topic differentiation. So given y is equals to 2 to the power of x squared, find the dy dx. So before I'm going to differentiate the situation, I will be using the properties of log. So first, I'm going to log both sides. So where we have ln y equals to ln 2 to the power of x squared. By using the properties of log, we can bring forward the x square because of the properties of log. So now we will have ln y equals to x square bracket ln 2, where ln 2 is a value. Next, I'm going to differentiate y respect to x. So first, we are going to differentiate ln y. So we will have d dx for ln y equals to since ln 2 is a value so we can bring forward and then differentiate x square respect to x so let's begin with the differentiation differentiate ln y we will have 1 over y since this is a variable of y and it's not an x so we need to add on dy dx equals to ln 2 differentiate x square we will have 2x and differentiate x we will have 1 so simplify the situation and find the dy dx so dy dx equals to ln 2 y bracket 2x so rearrange the situation dy dx is equals to 2x y is 2 power of x square ln 2 so here we have the example if y is equals to exponent x multiply with ln 1 plus x show that the situation so now we are going to differentiate the function for two times in order to show the situation so at first we have to let this one become u and ln 1 plus x become v so by differentiate the situation respect to x so if we differentiate y we will have dy dx equals with v differentiate e x with respect to x plus we have u then we have to differentiate ln 1 plus x with respect to x so let's begin our process so we have dy dx v we have ln 1 plus x by differentiate exponent x, we are going to copy exponent x, refers to the power, differentiate it, and we will have 1. Plus u. So in here, u would be exponent x. Next, we are going to differentiate ln 1 plus x. So we will have 1 over 1 plus x. By differentiate 1 plus x, we will have 1. So, rewrite the situation. So, dy dx equals to e to the power of x ln 1 plus x plus e to the power of x over 1 plus x. Kindly simplify the situation. As we all know, e to the power of x ln 1 plus x actually is equal to y. So, rewrite again. So, dy dx is equal to y plus e to the power of x over 1 plus x. Now, we are going to further our uh, discussion with the second derivative. So, before... I further my discussion 
I'm going to rewrite again the situation so that it is easy for me to proceed with the differentiation. So we have dy dx equals to y plus e to the power of x bracket 1 plus x to the power of negative 1. The purpose of this is to try to avoid the quotient rule. So now I'm going to use the product rule to find the second derivative. So if we differentiate the dy dx, we will have the second derivative. Second, we are going to differentiate y, so we will have dy dx. Next, we are going to proceed the discussion with the product rule. So we have u for ex and v for 1 plus x to the power of negative 1. Plus 1 plus x to the power of negative 1. Differentiate exponent x and we will have e to the power of x. Differentiate the power, we will have 1. Plus we are going to differentiate the power 1 plus x to the power negative 1 first focus on the power and we will have negative 1 bracket 1 plus x to the power negative 2 next I'm going to differentiate 1 plus x and we will have 1 so rewrite the situation so second derivative equals to first derivative plus e x over 1 plus x to the power of 1 minus e x to the power of 1 plus x to the power of 2. So by referring to the questions, the question asks us to show the situation. By referring to the question, so I'm going to transfer the first derivative from the right to the left. So we have second derivative minus the first derivative, which is equals to ex over 1 plus x minus ex over 1 plus x to the power of 2. Next, I'm going to multiply the left and the right with 1 plus x to the power of 2. And we will have 1 plus x to the power of 2 bracket second derivative minus the first derivative equals to 1 plus x bracket e to the power of x minus e to the power of x. Next, I'm going to expand the situation on the right. And we will have x plus 1 power of 2 bracket second derivative minus the first derivative equals to e x plus x e x minus e x. Simplify the situation and we will have 0. So finally, we will have x plus 1 bracket square bracket with the second derivative minus the first derivative equals to x e to the power of x. Then, refer to the question and we can say the situation has been shown. So here we are and thanks for watching.